Hi everyone, welcome to part three of the thousand oscillators done the easy way. Um, tonight we're going to activate um, two Raspberry Pis. I've got a Pi uh, 3 and a Pi 4. I've got a UE Boom 2 Bluetooth speaker connected to a desktop. I've got a uh, Sony speaker connected to the Pi 2, Pi 3. And I've got some cheesy desktop speakers connected to the Pi 4. Um, the three things are going to do a thousand oscillators each. That's the plan. But before we can do anything, we need to get some maths going. Um, so let's start the maths running, and then I'll talk you through what it is I'm actually going to do. So at the moment, I'm just kicking off my ridiculous piece of code on here, the Raspberry Pi 4. Raspberry Pi 3 and the PC. So there's one oscilloscope window for each uh, each device. Um, so this project is inspired by Sam Battle, who's actually done a thousand real physical oscillators. So I thought what I'd do is have a go at trying to do a thousand oscillators uh, in software. So to try to create a um, try to create a, a software simulation of what it is he's trying to do in hardware. Um, if you listen to the other two videos I've already created on this subject, you'll see um, that um, you'll see that uh, I'm not claiming to that this is my idea, and I'm definitely not claiming that this is going to be anything half as good as what he's doing. But what I wanted to do was write some code and see if in software. We can we can do the same thing or something similar a simulation. Also, it's quite interesting because I've got three little computers here. We also have a little race. I'm planning to make five minutes worth of drone sound, so it involves quite a lot of maths. And as you can see, the big PC, which is a Pentium-based you know, three gigahertz machine, is chunking away here. It's done 53 seconds worth of sound already. Pi 4 has done 30 seconds worth, and poor old Pi 3, he's only 10 seconds in. Raspberry Pi is 5 seconds left to calculate. I'm getting so excited now, this is like the support act, this thing here. It's been playing and playing. We're going to turn it off, and we're going to play. Hope you're ready. Get rid of that. Oh, what did I kill? Oh, I killed the right thing. Okay, 298. 299. Let's get our windows ready. Okay, the main event is about to start. I'm going to start with... Let's start with the little pie. So let's start with the no. Let's start with the base. So let's start with the main PC. Here we go. Here's its waveform. Turn it up. I may have to resort at some point to the other microphone. Okay. Now we're going to kick in Pi Four. We're going to go to the mid. Thank you. 
So you should now be able to hear me on the uh, slightly more clearly. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to point the microphone at the various different speakers and see if we can hear what's going on. So first, the PC left-hand side. Now the PC right-hand side. Mini Pi. And now, Big Pi Bass. Sound Sounds quite hissy in the middle. Let's try Mini Pi again. Let's really whack it up. This is recording, all right? Let me just check that we're getting some kind of level on here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's recording. And there we have it, everyone. We have the two Raspberry Pi and one PC, thousand oscillators on each, all in software, cracking away. I hope you've enjoyed watching this as half as much as I have in terms of coding it and trying to make it go. Thank you ever so much for watching. And uh, until the next project, Goodbye, this is Martin and the Inner Loop signing off.